In 2015, Dallas-born amateur Oli Schneider Jans announced himself to the golfing world with his performance at the Open Championship at St Andrews. The newcomer finished the tournament with an impressive final round of 67, earning him a notable finish tied for 12th place. 18 months later, he's begun his rookie year on the PGA Tour and he's now competing against the world's best players on a regular basis. It's been a long time coming for me. I'm just looking forward to this for a long time. Uh, so kind of as soon as I got my locked up my card on the web, I've just been stoked to get out here, and I'm just honored to be out here. It's so cool to be on the PGA Tour and playing against these guys, the best in the world. Um, that's what that's what I want to do. I want to play at the highest level, and this is it. So this is really cool. Schneider Jans qualified to play at St Andrews after becoming the world number one amateur while at college, a title previously held by some of the game's current leading lights. With this ranking comes heightened expectations from golf fans, but Ollie seems unfazed by that added pressure. I'm very proud of, of that. I, I put a lot into that. I, I reached number two in the world in junior golf, and my goal when I got to college was to somehow become number one amateur in the world and I got off to a slow start but I, I kept going and learned so much my first two years of college and my junior year was a special year that put me at number one in the world and to be able to say I was the number one uh, player, amateur in the world was a very cool feeling and something I'd like to say professionally someday. I don't ever feel more pressured than what I put on myself. I, I have high hopes for myself and I give it all I can to do to maximize what I have and uh, I, I hope to do big things and and uh, so all the pressure I feel like comes from myself more than anything and uh, have high hopes and I'm excited for this year. The early learning curve's been steep. Life on tour didn't begin quite the way he would have hoped with three missed cuts in as many events. But a tie for sixth place at the RSM Classic in November gave him a much needed lift heading into this new year. I think momentum is real in golf for sure, so hopefully I can get on a roll, um, you know, to play well right before the break. Just kind of gave me the whole fall and the last few months before the break, kind of learned a lot. And so it was nice to go into the off season knowing feeling good about kind of what I learned and uh, I feel fresh and ready to go and uh, I'm excited for sure. Another top 10 for Ollie at the Farmers Insurance Open last week has only offered further encouragement. He now has his sights set on achieving some big goals by the end of this season. Probably make the Tour Championship. I think as a rookie that's the that's the perfect goal to have to to, if you make it to East Lake, you know, you, you're in really good shape. Obviously, you had a good year and you're set up for the, the following year. I definitely would love to just have opportunities to win. Sea Island, I felt, had a really good chance on, with nine holes left. Just the more times I can put myself in that situation on Sunday and just get more comfortable. You know, like Justin, for example, had so many good chances to win his rookie year and he learned a lot from that and then he's, he's won three times now. So. I'd like to do something similar and a win this year would be uh, unbelievable.